Good, good, good morning. It is Wednesday morning. You're watching Lifestyle Live. And uh, boy, Michelle Gudash is with us here. I'm excited. You know why? Not just because you're here, but we got some rain last night. I notice. I notice. I need to fix my windshield wipers. <laughs> hey, Michelle, what are we doing out here? It's autumn. We're moving through it quickly. What are we cooking? Yeah, I'm making a pistachio butter board. This is my take on the trending butter board. And I'm also making a delicious palm cider drink you can enjoy Ooh, all yeah. holiday yeah, long. Yeah, I love that. Randall. Hey, Randall, I'm going to be over here for both cooking segments with Amber. No, that's that's cute, Randy, because I'm going to be here. <laughs> we are in the thick of Halloween season, and Nightmare on Edgewood is scaring the daylights out of the community for the 45th year. Uh, where else can you come face-to-face -face with, you know, a murderous mob turned entirely crazy by contaminated local water supply? Yeah, no, that's that sounds attractive, right? That sounds like something hey, you guys want to do. Hey, hey, These Randy, guys are cool. Can, can he come up to the camera? I don't know if we can go back to him. I, I kind of want to see that that face. Which, that creepy which one? Face. This, Just come on which up. Creepy face. You got to be more specific. Let's get them both. Oh, up to look the at camera. That. Look at that, my man. Your turn. Very cute. Up I can tell. The they, I can tell they they take time on their skin. <laughs> their skin routine. Yeah. Because George, you you are commenting that I, I don't know that this freaks out like, a little bit. I like the the, the pig faced look. That yeah. Is, that's interesting. That would look good on you too. Rocking it with the bow tie. I've, I've done weirder stuff <laughs> on, on this show. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Nikki's honor is really a tragic story. It's a powerful story as well about an innocent victim of so-called honor killing. Based on actual events still occurring in many parts of the world, this book reveals the realities of unspeakable acts mm. committed against girls and women and usually carried out by their own family. The author of Nikki's Honor joins us live straight ahead. Man, that's a tough one. It is. But an important one at that. Hey, also, you could say we're going to go shopping this morning at Unique Culture Boutique. They're based out of Plainfield. This adorable boutique is celebrating its eighth birthday. How cool is that? They have sizes small to 3X, so you know there is something for every body type. And spoiler alert, I'm wearing a little something-something from the shop today here, George. Yeah. You know, because one of my big things is when you're pregnant, you don't like to buy too many maternity right. outfits because then you have the baby and then you just don't and, get a whole lot and, of use out of them. And correct me if I'm wrong, this outfit is not it's limited not, to maternity. No, it's yeah. not maternity, but it could be worn as a dress if your bump is a little smaller or it's mine's a little bigger right now so you kind of wear it like as a kimono which i love because then after the baby comes you can wear it as usual and not feel like you have to put it back in the closet I think jennifer described it as a wrap a wrap yeah i like so. that oh they're getting oh they're getting close-ups i don't know yeah. i don't know we like close-ups right here <laughs> but yeah a little wrap ties in the middle I love it. And it's a great color for fall, too. So there you go. But they brought a lot of goodies. And we're going to show some of those off coming up in just a little bit. So our question of the day today is kind of playing off of Michelle Dudash. And yes. that is brought to you by Custom uh, oh, Cabinet yeah. Renewal. If you were to make a charcuterie board, what would be on it? Best, mm -hmm. the best answers we've been getting on this. Look at this. <laughs> uh, okay, Michael Libby. He has some thoughts here. Salami, pastrami, pepper jack cheese, gouda cheese, paninos, baguette slices, Mediterranean fruits, pistachios, and a couple tall mugs of amber ale. I like how specific Michael is. That's a charcuterie board right there, friends. And Jeff says, whatever is in the Lunchables <laughs> packet. <laughs> that away, Jeff. I, because let's be honest, a charcuterie board is really just a grown-up Lunchables, right? Yeah. You can kind of call it that. Charlie says strawberries, blueberries, pineapple, ham, and salami, and some cheeses. Uh, when when Lena yeah. joined us earlier, I th she wanted to put French toast and eggs and bacon oh. on. And I was like, you know, well, that's genius. That is genius. Yeah, so. I could have a breakfast charcuterie board. Randy would probably have donuts on his. What do you think? <laughs> <Wouldn't like it. laughs> well, speaking of, let's head on over to the kitchen. Mr. Randy Alice, what do you think? Donuts? Yeah, Charcuterie? Donuts. I feel oh, like I that would so. be your go-to. You could them. do little mini donuts. I could, Amber. That's a great <laughs> idea. So yeah, uh, Especially the chocolate ones. You know me. Oh, I yeah. I know you. The else, cake so. donuts is the what you love. Donut. Plain cake with uh, chocolate frosting. Oh, hi, Michelle. Oh, hi. <laughs> Keep going. Talk about I love all these boards. Yeah, so, uh, well, Michelle Dudesh is here. And, um, uh, but this is a butter board. Which is, this is different. It is. is. Charcuterie board? Have you seen the butterboard trend that's happening? Uh, well, I don't think so. So charcuterie okay. is really trendy there for yep. a little bit. Still is. Yeah. 
So the butter board. I know it's kind of crazy. So people are literally spreading butter on boards and scooping it up. Well, now you might that. ask, what does Michelle do? Ask the dietitian. Think about that. Right. Well, you know, I love butter as much as the next gal. But if I'm going to be scooping with other ingredients yeah. as like a main course or appetizer, I'm going to switch to a healthier fat. Of course. She I'm going to use pistachios and tahini and um, oh, this you know, looks yummy too. and olive oil. So yeah, so it's and it's beautiful. It so so good. Thank you. It looks pretty. It really does. It does. Did you come up with this idea yourself? I did. I did. I literally, I was just racking my brain. What am You're I going like to I, gonna I, make I this fall? I create too at home when I cook. I yeah. Love, love I think you've rubbed off on her over, <laughs> you know, Absolutely. Absolutely. 